Link. Here come to town. Come to save the Princess Zelda. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, the Video Game Viewer. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Need for Speed Shift. Now the concept of this game is... There is no concept of this game. It's just to race. That's it. That's all there is. The previous Need for Speed games have had... Uh, stupid live-action cutscenes and some kind of storyline to it. Usually we were some kind of uh, undercover cop um, trying to bust an illegal uh, ring of street racers or whatever, but not in this one. It's pure racing. For the racing lovers, you're going to love it. Everything is action-packed. The graphics are spot-on in this game. I mean, some of the best graphics I've seen from a Need for Speed game ever. Um, even on even the other Xbox 360 games, uh, Carbon, um, Hop Suit, or whatever it was, um, I'm not a big Need for Speed fan, but this game I really liked. I had to buy this game. I had to own it. it, it and I'm glad I own it, because it's that good. Um... Like I said, some of the best graphics uh, in any of the Need for Speed games. You know, Need for Speed has been struggling for a while to come out with a good game. And uh, they, they finally nailed it on the head here. So now, if you're going to be talking about the sound for Need for Speed, that is... They really, uh, they really got the sound down pat. I mean, tires are screeching, engines are roaring, everything sounds awesome and very realistic. Uh, I, I choose to play the game in the cockpit view of the car where you see the steering wheel and everything. Um, and, and when you go around the turn, it doesn't just sound like tires are screeching. I mean, it sounds like two animals in a sack fighting. I mean, it's, it's like really, really grinding the tires off there, and it sounds awesome. It sounds like what I would expect it to sound like if I'm drifting around a corner at 120 miles an hour. So, again, the sound is great. Um, Alright, but how does the game play? Is it playable? Uh, yeah, it is playable. It's playable for, I think, almost all ages. Um, there's all kinds of different features you can set up in the game to help you out if you're, say, you're not real good at drifting. You can set it up to help you drift. Uh, if you're having trouble getting to the head of the pack in races, you're just not good at racing, you're not good at passing, you're not good at you know taking sharp turns or anything like that, you can do that. Uh, you can set it up with that. Say you're having trouble with hairpin turns. All right, well, there's this green line you can follow, just like in Pro Street. I'm sure you remember. You can follow that green line, and it gives you a little bit of a brake assist when you're going around hairpin turns. It turns yellow to red if you're going too fast. Uh, but the game is definitely playable. Um, in no way is the game broken. There, I haven't seen a bug, a glitch. I've played through the whole game every race, everything. I've done all the invitationals. There is not a single glitch. All the tracks are interesting. They never get old. They never get boring. All the cars are awesome in the game. You're never going to get bored. From your low-end cars to your top-end cars, they're all awesome. They did a really good job at selecting the cars in this game. So, from the cars to the, to the racetracks, everything's spot on. The only thing that is, uh, well, I wouldn't say it's bad, 
Um, it's actually uh, kind of fun. You earn money a little bit too quick in the game, um, which I said it's fun, but kind of takes away from the challenge a little bit. I mean, within the first two or three hours, I mean, if you didn't spend anything, you'd have enough to go buy yourself like a nice Lambo. So, I mean, but other than that, I mean, some people want to earn money quick in the game so they can get those high-end cars right away. So, other than that, um, the game is definitely challenging enough. Um, there's different difficulty settings. Uh, right now, I think I have it on normal, and it's still pretty challenging. It starts out way too easy, um, and I was bitching because oh, I set it on normal, and you can't change it once you start a game, so... I was bitching about that because I thought the whole game was going to be that. But once I got to the third tier of races, it definitely started to challenge me in my driving skills a little bit. Um, so that's uh, that's the playability. Definitely playable and a great game. All right, guys. Um, I gave you what I think about the game. Um, now I'm going to tell you about some additional content that you might or might not want to get with the game. I have here the steering wheel and the foot pedals and um, I've played with both them and the controller and I would have to say I definitely recommend the controller and I'm going to show you why in about a minute here. Alright, I'm going to show you how the pedals work in a race, and how they're better or worse. Alright, so this is me playing with, uh, with the wheel here. Um, you can see I'm kind of sliding out, it's kind of touchy, wheel's real sensitive, um, crashing a little bit there, and it's, it's hard to avoid collisions, and there are collisions in the game. But, I mean, the cornering and the wheel, it's just real touchy and sensitive. Um, so, see, I'm sliding out here going around the turn. And, again here, sliding out again. Going off-road. I mean, this is, again, this, this is with the steering wheel. And totally, the car is terrible. Can hardly handle it at all. And, yeah, I'm not going to be going any further, but next I'm going to show you how it is with, uh, with the 360 controller and how I'm going to be able to handle the car a lot better. Alright, so here I am. This is, uh, this is going to be with the Xbox 360 controller. Um, it's a little bit easier with the controller because you have the gas and the brake on your right and left fingers, so not you're not going to be worrying about switching feet. Not to mention if you're under 16 and you've never driven a car before, uh, you might not even have any clue. But you can see I'm definitely working my way up through the pack here. Um, this is one of the more one of the more challenging laps, but or race courses. But slid out a little bit there, but uh, I mean you're gonna slide out a little bit even with the controller, so it doesn't really matter. But um, definitely working my way. Up. All right, guys. Well, this was. Uh, this was my 360 review for uh, Need for Speed Shift, so uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps in your decision, and uh, I, I definitely would recommend picking this up. Um, if I had to give it a score, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I'm giving this game a 9.5. Thanks for watching. This has been Video Game Viewer.